What's going on guys? I want to talk to you about the Corporate Citizen Playbook and the YouTube training. Currently I'm working on developing the course for YouTube. Now YouTube as an entity has made me millions and millions of dollars. YouTube is an incredibly powerful platform if you know how to use it. So I got two offers and if you're smart you're going to go with the Corporate Citizen Playbook because if you set up a YouTube channel correctly and you do it the correct way, you can make a lot of money in the future. So I've got below an automated webinar and this Sunday I'll be doing a live webinar where you can ask me direct questions at 5 p.m. The link to the automated webinar will be below and the link to the Sunday webinar will be below. So once again, go ahead and check those out. And if you know the automated webinar doesn't answer all your questions, then we will be there Sunday, 5 p.m. this Sunday to answer your questions. And everyone that shows up for the automated webinar and the people who show up for the Sunday webinar, you will get an extreme discount since I'm still building out the course. So go ahead and check that out and let's roll off into this next video. We've all have seen the videos here on YouTube where it's like, Guess how much money I made from my YouTube channel. Guess how much money a small YouTube channel has made. Guess how much money. And these are some of the most highly viewed videos on YouTube. I was looking and I saw a girl. She, this video had like 30,000 views. Her channel only had 2,000 subscribers. And the rest of her videos weren't getting any views. So this is something that people are looking for. They're looking for that, hey, I go ahead for the YouTube channel, sit down, chill, and I can make a lot of money. Now, I have been a YouTuber for 15 years, and the bulk of my income has come from selling people things, not YouTube income. And let me go ahead and just give you some real numbers. There's 51 million YouTube channels and the vast majority of these YouTube channels make zero dollars. The top 10% of YouTubers make 95% of the YouTube money. Now let's go ahead and have a conversation. Can you create a YouTube channel that gets a lot of views. If you create a YouTube channel that gets a lot of views, getting on a certain target, getting on a certain trend, you in fact can make a lot of money. But check this out. Meet, not meet Kevin, but Andrew Jack. Andrew Jack has a second YouTube channel with like 6,000 subscribers. His main YouTube channel has um, like 2.2 million subscribers. Now, I'm about to go ahead and tell you something. Right now, people are breaking their necks to create personal finance content. And Andre Jack, Graham Stephan, they created their YouTube channels in an environment where they had virtually no competition. And if you don't believe me, just go ahead and start a personal finance channel without the right hack. There's a guy by the name of Caleb Hammer who has started a personal finance channel and it's hilarious and he brings a lot of value to the platform and he's grown incredibly fast. But this is the thing and I'm here to tell you as someone who's been on YouTube 15 years, the average YouTuber doesn't make as much money as you think they do. How do I know this? Years and years ago, I used to go to these YouTube conferences and I would sit around and talk. And years and years ago, I was under the same impression as you were, that these folks were making crazy money and you know working from home. And then when I started to meet people and to talk to people, and I was like, well, yeah. And I remember I met this girl who had 1.6 million subscribers about 2015 and she's like, yeah, you know, and I do about 7,000 a month. 
And I was like, oh, really? That's great. And she's like, what do you make? And I was like, 50000 a month. And she looked at me. She said, what's your channel? And I showed her my channel. And at the time, I think I had like 55,000 subscribers. And she was like, and, I, and then I went ahead and explained that I, I sell courses and stuff and I sell books. And she said, oh, okay, okay. See, I can tell you from personal experience that YouTube is a great platform, but unless you go ahead and create a YouTube channel that gets an astonishing amount of views, not shorts, I'll talk about that in a minute. If you create a YouTube channel that can get, let's say, 3 million views per month, which is a lot. Um, depending, you know, depending upon your niche, you could be in a low income niche, right? But if you get 3 million views a month, that's going to be 20 to $30,000 a month for you, even in a low income niche, because you're getting so many views. So let's talk about shorts right now. Every day I wake up, I, I get at least three to five messages about these companies that want to create shorts for me. Shorts do not make you a lot of money unless you get in that top 10% of short creators. And these are the people who are getting like 10 million views per short or something like that. Once again, I will say this, if you can get the views, you can make a lot of YouTube money you can make a lot of TikTok money. But let's go ahead and talk about that. 51 million YouTube channels. Maybe I've talked about this before, but let me know how many of those YouTube channels have over 100,000 subscribers. Go ahead. And because once again, this is the thing, because I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I've been doing YouTube for 14, 15 years. And I have seen it over and over and over again, the top 10% of YouTube content creators make 95% of the money. And when I talk about 95% of the money, I'm not talking about just the YouTube money. I'm talking about the affiliate marketing money. I'm talking about the sponsorship money as well. So this is why when you see these videos talking about how much money I made on YouTube, it's pretty much a scam because unless you have a high concept YouTube channel that is really, really doing something, putting things out there and getting a, like a ton of views. Um, Cause I, I can tell you views drive subscribers, viewers drive revenue, viewers drive sponsorships, views drive affiliate marketing. Um, so if you, once again, let me say this, it is 100% possible for you to make a lot of money strictly from YouTube content, YouTube views, you getting paid from YouTube AdSense. But, but, um, there's a graph. I think I should have showed it at the beginning. 68% of the people who answered his graph made zero money, zero money. And this is the challenge that you're looking at when you're trying to come to YouTube because here's the thing, um, I was dating this girl some years ago and uh, we got to know each other pretty well. And this is one of the things that I just did not do. Uh, I, I would meet people and I would never bring up what I did for a living. I would never talk about it. And we were talking about it and this girl, she was um, doing cosmetology. She would she actually worked a job and she had her business where she was doing lashes. And, you know, she was, you know, I would never, she's like, I got to work this weekend. Oh, do your thing, girl. Do your thing. And she was like, you're the first guy that never gives me grief about me working. And then, you know, we started to talk. I knew what she did. And she said, you know, you know what I do. I have no clue to what you do. And then, you know, you have a lot of free time, right? <laughs> and she was like, I noticed that because if I need you to do something, I want you to do something. You, you're always there. And I said, well, uh, I'm a full-time YouTuber. And she's like, oh, really? 
you know, she she was like, because, um, you know, like I said, we, we dated for a while and she she knew my habits because, you know, I would go to the gym in the middle of the day because I like to go to the gym when there's just not a lot of people there. And that's usually going to be about 10 to 3. The gym is going to be pretty sparse and you can get in and get you some really good workouts. And, you know, she was just like really stunned. And we never because like most of the women I've dated have no clue to how much money I make because I never bring it up. I never talk about it. And then she she noticed, you know, I was driving a nice car. I was living in a nice place. And, you know, just one day and then she, just how much money you make. And this was about 2015 ish. And, you know, I was kind of like talking about it on YouTube. I was like 50,000 a month. And she looked at me. <laughs> she looked at me and she said, you make more money in a month than I make in a year. And the relationship started to change a little bit. It started to change a little bit. It, it got, it got, it got kind of strange. It got kind of strange. And um, one of the things that you will understand is like, I've been to many YouTube events, YouTube conferences, talk to YouTubers. And this is something else too. That top 10% of YouTubers, they actually work really hard. I mean, they like, I could tell you uh, one content creator, I will not mention any names, but every video that she does, um, she will create five thumbnails. And sometimes she would make the video four or five times. She would make the same video four or five times and she'll upload it. And if this video doesn't do well, she will immediately pull it down, upload the second video, upload another thumbnail. And to create three or four videos and to have them edit it, uh, first of all, three or four videos, that was going to take her pretty much a day, a whole day to film. And then she had an editing team where she had worked out. Let me explain some stuff. Editing can be one of the nightmares of a YouTuber. Because finding a good editable, a good reliable editor can be a challenge. And typically uh, there are some people who have worked out some really good editing teams. And I can tell you all of the top YouTubers, the top people, they have their own editing teams. They have to, they cannot go to Fiverr or Upwork and hire someone every time they need a video. They have an editing team team. They have a team that is right there to discuss things. And this, once again, to become a top YouTuber is you're going to have to have a team. You're going to have to have a team today. Back in the day, you could get by as you being a YouTuber and editing your own videos. Today, that ain't going to happen. You're going to need to have a, a team, a team of people and a group of people and you're going to need to actually have folks in place to do certain things because I know personally, I, I know a lot of YouTubers. I know a YouTuber who has one guy who designs his thumbnails. He has another guy that does his editing. He has another guy that edits his podcast. Thumbnail guy, podcast guy, uh, editor for his YouTube videos. Uh, he's got some other people. He has a team of, eight people on his YouTube team, eight people. Uh, he's got not one, but two cameramen and you know, to run his YouTube channel, just to pay his team, he's got to spend about $40,000 per month paying his team. Now, consequently, he makes like 300,000 a month from YouTube and affiliates and stuff, but still, and th this is the thing that people just don't get about the YouTube business. Everyone thinks that you can just sit down, make a video. And, you know, like I can tell you from personal experience, editing is a pain in the booty. Um, I'll share something with you. One of the reasons that I do my videos a certain way, there's no ooms, there's no ahs, there's no long pauses. That took me a few months to really work out because if you create your video in a certain fashion, you don't have to edit it. And that's the majority of my videos. And then I have an editor 
and then I'm getting ready to bring in some more people to do some other things. But once again, if you think that you're just going to pull out a, a camera and start making a lot of money, I'm going to say it. You're sadly mistaken in 2023. It, this is not the old YouTube. This is just not the old YouTube. And one of the things that you will see is a lot of older YouTubers have stopped posting videos because this is not, um, it's not a, it's not an easy job to be a high level, highly paid content creator. It's not an easy job. And this is one of the things that creates a lot of problems for people who feel that the job is easy, uh, that they can just, it's not like to become a top level creator. And I'm going to tell you, finding a reliable, good and durable editor is going to be expensive. Um, there's these channels where the videos are beautifully edited and I can tell if the content creator, and I can tell you if the content creator is doing the editing, you don't see that many videos on that channel. They may post one or two videos per month because to edit a video, like let's say you shoot a 15 minute video, right? Well, you shoot a video that's going to be 15 minutes when it gets up on YouTube. That video could have originally started out as an hour and it's been edited down to 15 minutes, pulling out all the slow parts and stuff. And this could take someone eight to 12 hours to edit one video. The editing is key to YouTube these days. It is key. So once again, these, these YouTube videos, like how much money I made from YouTube, it's, it's, it's kind of wild because a lot of people do not have a firm understanding of the YouTube business. And this is why I'm creating a course. Like I've never had a YouTube channel just like explode. I've never made my, there's a bug in here for some reason. I've never had a YouTube channel explode. I've never had YouTube videos explode but I've made millions using the YouTube platform. And this is one of the things I teach in my course because I see so many people who approach YouTube with the wrong mindset, with the wrong work level, with the wrong expectations. They think that they're going to sit down and they're going to create this video and they're gonna get all these views and they're gonna make all this money and they're gonna be on the beach with Big Booty Betty. And the reality is the better YouTubers actually work really, really hard. Um, they, they do. And this is one of the things that you have to understand. And one of the things you have to acknowledge if you want to enter into the YouTube game. Now, once again, there are people who have, and I've seen people leave TikTok and crash on YouTube. And I'm seeing people leave Instagram and become wildly successful on YouTube. It, there, there, there's just so many things that are part of you becoming successful on YouTube. And I, I will tell you, um, I'm getting ready to up my YouTube game. Uh, I'll share this with you. Um, uh, probably this time next year, I will not be posting nowhere near as much on this channel. Why? Cause I'm going to create a new YouTube channel and I'm going to grow it using all the knowledge and stuff that I, I know because I, I, I will share some stuff with you. I can start a brand new YouTube channel, optimize it the correct way and only have 10,000 subscribers, right? And get more views than I get on this YouTube channel and make more money and have a, a different audience. That's one of the things that I'm working on right now. I'm like, literally, I've been thinking about it for the last two months. I've been thinking about the name. I've been thinking about the transition because this is the thing that you have to understand how you pre plan your YouTube channel greatly benefits you in the long-term benefits of your YouTube channel. I can look at a YouTube channel. 
I can analyze the YouTube channel and I can go ahead to Social Blade and see when their channel took off. I can pinpoint the video, the exact video that made that channel start to crank. And one of the things that a lot of people can do, you, you got to study YouTube. You really got to study YouTube because so many people are on this, hey, you know, uh, I, I want to start a YouTube business and they think it's all cookies and punch. But the reality is, especially if you're one of the high performing, high content creators, uh, high level content creators, this can be somewhat of a stressful business. And the average lifespan of YouTubers is three to seven years, three to seven years. A lot of people just tap out. They can't do it anymore. It's too much anxiety It's just certain things. So one of the things that you have to understand is if you send up a YouTube business, um, and th this, this is one of the funniest things. And I, I keep talking about this, but I actually saw this in the video this morning. I don't know why so many people feel that folks are interested in them making coffee. They will film them walking to the coffee machine. They will film the coffee machine. They will feel the coffee dripping out the me. I'm like, I don't want to see you make your coffee. It's one of the craziest things. Maybe some people like it. Do you like to see people make coffee? Let me know. So one of the things that is going on in the world today is there are so many people who feel that YouTubers make a lot of money when the vast majority of YouTubers don't make a lot of money. That's the vast majority. Uh, once again, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that I slide that, that slide in there because the number of YouTubers making $5,000 a month or more was like 3%. Now this was just one YouTuber who channeled his audience members who happen to all be YouTubers. So I guarantee you that trend is not going to change even if you put all YouTubers in there. Actually, I feel if you put all the YouTubers into the mix, the trend will get worse. It will get worse because this whole notion of using YouTube directly, and let me be clear about this, getting paid from YouTube is getting paid from the ads on your YouTube channel. That's getting paid directly from YouTube, right? And one of the things that um, you have to understand and you have to acknowledge is the setup of your YouTube business and the trajectory of setting up your YouTube business. And there, there are so many things that go into it. And this is why this course that I'm working on, and I'm working on it a little bit each day because this is so much information it's so much training that it's going to take me to July to actually get it done. So if you want to make livable income from YouTube, now what is livable income? Livable income in my mind is 5,000 and above. If you can make $5,000 a month from your YouTube channel, that's enough to pay your mortgage, pay your car payments and stuff. And then you also, once again, set up, you've got taxes. And if you're just getting it, cause YouTube just pays you straight up and you get a 1099 from YouTube and then each year. So you got to account for taxes and you got to account for health insurance. And you got to account for a whole bunch of things. So ideally my mindset is livable income from YouTube would be $10,000 per month. Because once you factor in the taxes and once again, you set up a YouTube business, you get all kinds of tax deductions if you know what to do, if you know how to set it up. So there's, there's so many things that are going on. There's a lot of things that are going on, but honestly, is YouTube saturated? It's saturated with BS content. Absolutely. It's saturated with certain types of content. The personal finance space is deeply saturated. But is YouTube saturated from great, unique, and remarkable content? No, not at all. There's so much room for that to grow, and YouTube is growing. YouTube, because during the pandemic, YouTube views went crazy, but now we're back to normal YouTube, and people are seeing their views go down, and people are seeing their access money shrink, and they're like, what the heck happened? The pandemic is over. But once again, there's so many ways to set up your YouTube business. There's so many ways 
to do certain things. There are so many ways to make money from this platform. It's insane. It is insane. But yeah, the vast majority of how much money I made on YouTube videos are just a scam because you would have someone pop up a video and then you'll look at their channel and analyze their channel if you know how to analyze a channel and you'll see that they're not making that much money overall. It's the title, how much money I made from YouTube that gets so many people all juicy and excited because they feel that, hey, that I can sit on the sofa, turn on this camera, get the microphone going, and I can just sit here and make a video in 15 minutes and upload to YouTube and I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> it ain't happening, it ain't happening. It's just not happening. Now, once again, as I went ahead and said, and I, I emphasized the point, if you can create a YouTube channel that gets a lot of views, you can make some significant money here on the YouTube platform. But, oh, did you answer the question, like how many, channel, how many channels have 100,000 subscribers? It's out of 51 million YouTube channels, it is 326,000. 326,000 out of 51 million YouTube channels. When you go up to a million, it's like 25,000 channels. And then when you get to 10 million, the number seriously drops, seriously drops. So once again, one of the things that you guys have got to understand that you have to be highly strategic if you want to play the YouTube game and you want to be successful with the YouTube game. That's all I got to say. My name is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next one.